boy when i tell you that i am tired <laughs> i'm telling you man this weekend thank god <laughs> that demon slayer is over because sundays has been hectic but demon slayer is over and now the walking dead has popped up on sundays again bruh <laughs> okay Thank you guys so much for joining me once again for some more The Walking Dead. We are back. Season 11, Episode 9. Hopefully they come out with a banger. They left us with a cliffhanger in a, um, part 1 of the season or whatnot. Um, you guys can let me know. I don't know how many episodes is in this part of the series. Because I think there's going to be a third part or some shit. Um, or we're just going to go until the end of the season and wrap this series up in a nice little bow hopefully they don't shit on the ending for this series so far so good when it comes on to season 11 i'm really enjoying season 11 of the you know what i'm saying oh, there's some things you could complain about but at the same time it is what it is it is the walking dead the walking dead hasn't been what it is you know what i'm saying especially since rick is out <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know if he's going to show up before the end of the season. Are they going to show us something? Because I know there's movies in the work I hear and things like that. Lots of stuff that is confirmed for The Walking Dead. And we're going to watch Season 11, Episode 9 today. So thank you guys so much for tuning in once again, man. Welcome back. To the channel no we did pretty good with this series we're doing the first part doing the early access and all of that good stuff let's jump into it man i will see you guys at the end for the review Slow me, but I'll get her. Just find her. Not one of them's getting out of here alive. Copy that. I mean, walking slow ain't gonna do you no good. I think you should move as fast as you can. I 
bruh. Poor man. Ray's not helping. And we just keep stoking the flames. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Put a scorch in there. Maybe time to call it. No. Just gotta try something else. Back <laughs> a fire truck. <laughs> the one by the gate. Good. Let's focus on the flames. Hang on, there's too many sickos inside the walls. There's got to be another breach. Scott and the others are checking the cul-de-sac as we're headed toward the east wall. This windmill falls. It could create an opening too big to close. Okay, I'll go with you. You find the breach, and you take care of the windmill, okay? For Pope, you think he's an anime character? <laughs> Daryl. Oh, damn, he took it. He got stabbed. This man just looked at a stab in his stomach and like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Is that Gabriel? Austin, you in there? Austin! Break it down! <laughs> Shit. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> no more. No more. The sword, maybe? Get 
You got this? Really? Oh. Finally get to see him. <laughs> I was like, what happened to this dude? Excuse me? We've been harming your entire flock this Worry entire time. First. God will stay your hand. It's like you did with the graves yesterday. You knew I was there? The Lord did. He told me I had nothing to fear. You hear him? I do. And he tells you to defend these people? His hand guides my every step. These are monsters who slaughter entire towns without provocation, massacre children, and you pray for them? How could God speak to you? My role is not to question. I listen, sir. That's following orders, huh? Where have I heard that before? True faith requires doubt, and I have none. Violence is not the path I take. But blood has been spilled in God's name for centuries. His will is unknown to us. All I can do is trust in him. God wouldn't allow you to murder my friends, and neither will I. Move aside. You don't hear him anymore, do you? My flock is worth saving. Is that your choice, Liz? Do you even listen anymore, Liz? He's there with us right now, asking you to hear him again. Will you? Or will you cut down a man that he has placed in your path? Hmm. Out of his like, nigga, if you don't move out of my way, <laughs> take the first steps together for both of our flocks. Take my hand. Take your nigga. <laughs> what? And now you're certain to be safe, no matter what any of us have done. No one is unsafe. But that's true, but at the same time, it's just like you guys are delusional over here. wrong turn for you. You killed my sister. Okay. This was a trap. <laughs> well, I gotta say thanks for this. I'm tired of all the searching. Okay, you got some skills. Oh. Hello, Carver. Well, wait a minute. Damn. Bruh. Okay, Mr. MMA. This man got the hands and the feet. <laughs> Bruh. Good. 
God damn, Maggie. <laughs> Well, this is it for you, Carver. Or... Sure took you out right off. Okay. Why aren't we killing Carver? She needs to pay for what he did. I agree. If we go down that road. We all gonna make it out alive. No offense. I hate this break. We'll be done now. Let's use them. Do what we want and go home. Are you doing this for her? No. No, no, I'm doing it for us. He wants us gone, but not more than saving our own family, especially this asshole. This would go wrong 800 different ways. Me, I am down with us getting out of this alive. No! Elijah. You're just gonna let him walk away? They will get what's coming to them. Maybe not today, but they will. I promise. Leah. It's me. We need to talk. You ready? Just in case. Leah. We're here. Come out. Throw your weapons on the ground. I need to see Carver first. Come out. What are you offering? His life for food, nigga. Let you leave. That all? We head north. We'll turn back. I see anyone, anyone at all, I'm gonna kill him. Once we're far out enough, I'll let him go. Sure, sure. Shut up. You expect me to trust you now? Yeah, I do. You're doing this all wrong. You survived everything for what? Keep fighting and killing each other? Straight up. It takes. If that's what it takes, jeez. Giving you a chance to save what's left of your family and mine. Really? <laughs> Jensen? That was a yeah. The last one! Everybody out! Lower the knife at the rope. Jensen? The woman? Fine. He takes one more step, he dies. Josephine! Carve, don't! Stop! Jensen! Name, pull the trigger! Josephine! Yep. That's why I said, and Gabriel's supposed to have taken out the sniper because he went up there. Nope. No here. Call me Gabriel. <laughs> Let's go. Your deal still stands. You had your chance. <laughs> what? He would have killed us. Picked us off one by one, right? Now Gabriel does the same thing to you. Maybe you're right. Your friend has the rifle. But I bet we take a couple of you down before he takes us all. Oh, really? We, we just going to scrap? We walk. Save your thing. I save uh, oh, oh, no. Yeah. These bitches. I swear, bruh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Only when the tables have turned, they, they want to be reasonable. Bitch ass people like these. <laughs>
Drop your weapons and go. Nah, no, no, but he stay. No. Nah, you don't take Carver. Nah, bruh. Nah, Carver stays. Carver stays. Do it. Do it. I think he's gonna kill Carver himself. She, she should. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Nah, Car Carver gotta go, bruh. Get out. Maggie's gonna kill him. Nah, bruh. Maggie, no. Yo! Maggie ain't playing no games. But Leah's not dead though. Why didn't you follow up on Leah? is not dead you can't Leah took a bullet in the back she it looked like Daryl went after her though could have had a second chance both could have I know but she chose something else she, so ridiculous go go for it change my mind Oh, I completely forgot about Alden, whatever his name is. I. Yeah. Ah, uh, all right. Another one down. I mean, imagine where, imagine where Alden is coming from, man. Alden used to be a savior, bro. He used to be a savior. Well, I guess you could make the argument not fully, but still, you know. He, he defected. <laughs> going on no now he's gonna do what you did right I don't blame you really you see when it comes to me promise or not it's just a matter of time before you make the same call it's true I ain't gonna give you a chance to do that. So we gonna have a showdown now between Negan and Maggie, is this it? I'm gonna be on my own way. Oh, he's just dipping. I heard what you said. Doing wrong. I just think about choices. Do they even matter anymore? Depends on who's making the choice. 
doubt's important, but it doesn't make you wrong. Tell me to have faith. Yeah, I suppose that means. What about you? Yeah, I'll try it. You see him moving? Ready to catch up. He left. I don't understand why we gotta fight. That's the thing. everyone else yeah this man drop all the damn good fruit for a hug <laughs> we couldn't just put the basket down properly we gotta be all dramatic about it <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's TV. I have so many questions for you. Like how the hell you survived that damn cave? <laughs> So we could survive. And we will. After the storm, we had nothing left. Thank you. Hey! Got something coming! Oh, the Commonwealth! Get ready! Wait, 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 wait. We're all friends. We're all friends. They're here to help. Ezekiel, Yumoko, and I set out on a journey. Charged ourselves with finding hope in our darkest of days. Suffice to say, we hit the proverbial jackpot. It's probably best that I step aside so y'all can hear it from the horse's mouth, as it were. I give you Mr. Lance Hornsby. Diplomatic representative of the Commonwealth. I still don't trust these Hello. people. <laughs> I'm Lance. Thank you for allowing us into your home. The first thing I'm gonna ask: Why the I'll hell say, are you wearing a I suit? <laughs> with everything you've built here, and what I've heard of your other communities, but it's clear you've fallen on hard times. And that is where the Commonwealth is more than willing <laughs> There's some to colonization down. shit. <laughs> if you remain, we can provide labor and materials to help you build back all you've lost. However, if any are interested, I do have another potentially more interesting choice to offer. Six months later, they stayed. Open up. What? Why is there blood? Doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. Yeah, it does. The heck is going? All right. Great episode of The Walking Dead great opening come back to the series for wrapping up that arc of a story um you know everybody being terrified and they just came back and they'd be like let's wrap this up in one episode and let's go continue the commonwealth um storyline into 
what I'm thinking is the last storyline of the season um, to wrap up of the series to wrap up. So that was really good that they that they did that and they didn't spend like another two, three episodes of us fighting against these people again. <laughs> you know, um, so that was good, man. Um, um, R.I.P. Alden, I'm saying. Um, of course, didn't want to see Negan leave. You guys know that Negan is one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, I think, in my opinion, the best redemption arc in the in in the show. I don't. Is it the only one? No, it's not the only one. Cause you could kind of say that Alden had a redemption arc as well in the story. Um, so there are people that were bad. They became good. So Negan was the best that did it, in my opinion. Um, so sad to see him go i don't know if that's the last we're going to see of him i don't think it's the last we're going to see of him but i you know what i'm saying like i'm not going to be upset if it is like i'm not going to be upset it was a great way for him to go great reason for him to go and no problems no issues with that whatsoever the whole situation that went down with you know maggie deciding to kill the rest of the reapers um, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, shoot Leah in the back and then decide, ah, no, I'm going to turn back and just take this guy out that's already injured that anybody could have killed. Um, the, it was too straightforward, but then Daryl decided to let Leah go, which is fine. It's fine. I don't entirely agree with that decision, but it is, it's fine. You get what I'm saying? It's fine. Like, it's not triggering me to, to, you know into thinking you know um that it should be different i think all of them should have been there like if you're the way how it went down and this is not the way how we want things to go but leah chose this but then when gabriel got the sniper rifle it's knew was going up there right the the thing about it, the thing about it is this right what I don't understand when people write in stories like this, and it, and it's it's to the point where you're like, why are you doing this to the storyline? You get what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make sense. It's not making sense. Just give us the satisfaction. You know, give us what we need. You get what I'm saying? Changing up because <laughs> you know the situation switched up on her. She immediately changed gears. Yes, the deal's still on the table. Because now you don't have the upper hand. You were literally going to kill them all. Right? In an instance. Right? You were going to pick them off one by one. As Maggie said. Maggie decided to kill them. I don't have a problem with the decision. To kill them. I don't have no problem. I know Daryl had a problem. Because. Because. You know what I'm saying. It's somebody that he actually cared about. But also. You know what I'm saying. Him being so close to Rick and stuff like that. You know, not not to say that they he has become soft. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not gonna go into that vein. In a situation like that, Rick would have probably made the same decision that Maggie did. You get what I'm saying? Not necessarily. Of course, we tried to talk it out. We tried to make amends. You get what I'm saying? We tried to make you just walk away with your friend. You know what I'm saying? Are we like listen? I we want you to trust me we're gonna let him go right which i think daryl would have let carver go as per plan but also they should have just exchanged them for food and see how that went but at the same time the way i'm looking at it i think in the same vein i think these people you let them go they were gonna come back again after after them because they kill so many of their family <laughs> right vin diesel style <laughs> right so it's it's crazy to me when you have this kind of narrative right you know what is supposed to happen we know that maggie has become a savage and then you're gonna try to make it see then you're gonna try to to let leah get away leah does not deserve to live she could have killed everybody bro she didn't care who or what you get what i'm saying and that's not to say we didn't take out some of her people you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, these people, the way how they operate, man, from being under Pope, I just never liked them. 
I just never liked them. And it just goes to say, it's like, why does it have to be like this? You know, why do we survive all of what's actually going on? And, you know, it goes back to when, you know, when we said that the walking dead is the real enemy. They're the real enemy, but we're here still fighting amongst ourselves. When we all could just come together, go look for food, go scavenge, all of this other stuff we could be doing. But no, we got to fight each other because, oh, 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 I don't like you and you don't like me or whatever. Listen, in a situation like that, if, you, if it's a self-defense situation, listen, you got to take out the other people because they coming at you. They want to kill you. Like, we're not seeking out to kill these people. As a matter of fact, when they went there, they knew they were probably going to have to fight. They didn't even expect these people to attack them in the woods. They got attacked in the woods. They retaliated. So, for me, as I said, the way how I look at this is um, when it comes on to The Walking Dead and how they did this was... It was to the point where it's just like, I don't feel sorry. Trying to make me feel sorry for them. Can't feel sorry for any of the Reapers. I'm sorry. Because you guys had a choice again and you chose. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, dude, let's, you know, take care of our people. We could join together, have a stronger force. You guys are ex-military and all of this other stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it just, they just keep choosing the wrong thing. And it irritates me because I'm looking at it and I'm just like, you guys could do so much better. Help a community. Be a part of a community. But no, you want to be by yourself. You are three or four people that's left. Still choosing. You know what I'm saying? And saying you're choosing family. It's the dumbest decision ever. But it is what it is. Now the Commonwealth is here. Um, for the, the ending of the episode, we saw that, you know, they, they survived the whole um, the storm and you know they put out the fire and they survived all the dead and all this other stuff so of course at the end of the episode Eugene shows up with the commonwealth cool beans you know what I'm saying but then they forward six months later we see Daryl in commonwealth uniform why did they choose did they choose to stay is that what happened? That's why I said I don't trust the Commonwealth, man. And why is Daryl with him like that? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, why are they painting Daryl in this villainous light right now? Like, I, I, why would Daryl do some shit like that? Are they brainwashing people? Because it doesn't seem like that's out of character for Daryl. So I'm a little bit worried about how we're going to get to that point. But I'm guessing they're going to lead up to how that came to be. It seems like it seems like Maggie chose to stay and not go. I think that's what happened. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know exactly what happens. The episode's not in here yet, so <laughs> we don't know what the hell happened. But a falling out between Daryl and 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 um and Maggie, it's not good. It's not good. But I think that's what happened. I think Maggie chose to stay. And not go to the Commonwealth. Because she's like that. <laughs> but anyways. We're going to leave the judgment. Until we see exactly what happened. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I will see you guys. Next week for some more. The Walking Dead. Appreciate you guys much. I will see you guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. See you next week. Peace.